first grade, the last time we were together, we did our print by folding in half our butterfly. You'll notice one side might be darker than the other. At your tables, for the four of you, you have six colors of paint, and there's a brush for each color. Now, I want you to choose only up to three. I don't want you to use all of the colors. Um, it, uh, it will look a lot better. So I'm going to choose to put some paint, and this time I'm going to choose to put paint on my lighter side. So I'm going to move the paint out of the way so you can see my butterfly. And this is the lighter side, so this time I'm going to put my paint here, and then I'm going to fold it. So I'm going to take the pink over to my seat. Um, you can put it on the tablecloth, and then you can paint in your color. Now I want you to keep the black line still and remember we are using a lot of color so you can really put it on thick. It'll print a little bit nicer if you're thick. So I'm going to put it in three different spots. And then I'm going to keep the brush in it and put it back on the tray for someone else to use. Then I'm going to choose a different color painting in the white areas of my butterfly. Try not to mix it with any of the other colors as you're painting. You don't want to touch and contaminate the paint that you're using um, by getting it mixed with another color. You and your classmates are going to be using these um, all of the first grade. We'll be using these paint cups. So you can see I don't have a ton of areas to, to fill in, but I'm just getting the white sides. And let's see, I'm going to go with something bright like yellow. I really scoop the paint on. Just filling in all of those areas. I can even go back in and do some kind of pattern or accent. And now it looks as though it is ready for me to fold. So when, once again, you are taking that paper. It might feel a little stiff this time. You're just kind of folding it over on itself, giving it a nice rub. And peeling it back open, nice and slow. It has all blended together. You can see the body is still there. Um, you can carry this over to the drying rack like a pizza. The paint cups themselves will have lids in a little while to cover them so that they don't dry out for the next class. And your brushes will be collected and put in a soapy bucket. Thank you so much for listening.